Hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It is Sunshine Lorena. And I'm gonna be unhauling some books today because I really need to unhaul some books. I have nine here, I'm just gonna take you through the ones I'm unhauling and just kind of give you a very brief why I'm unhauling it, if I liked it, didn't like it, etc. Definitely need to do more in Holland. Um, I have actually started um, a little series on my TikTok. Um, it's this Sunshine Lorena. I'll just leave the details below if you want to check it out. But I've started like a series of reading books that I actually own from my shelves. Um, so that the plan is to you know actually focus on books that I own um, rather than buying books of the time. There may be a book haul also coming shortly because I bought books recently but we are going to be reading books that we own from now on and using script and different subscriptions that I have like library and um, for readathon to try and fulfill prompts because it, it's getting out of hand guys it's getting out of hand um I don't I know I don't have any as many books as some people but I don't have that much space to expand my shelf so I need to kind of get on top of this I know you can't see all of it now but I need to get on top of it there's books like behind like it's just a bit of a mess so let's uh yeah let's get some unhauling done let's get some unhauling this one i have here is the plus one pack by um portia mackintosh um i recently read this in summer i did really enjoy it i gave it four stars so i did really like it um it's just that honestly i'm not gonna reread it i had to think i'm not gonna reread it even though i did really enjoy it um i think yeah I'm not gonna reread it. It's not one that I've really seen around. I got this as a blind date book. Um, it's just not one I've seen people speaking about. So I think, you know, giving it to the charity shop will allow someone else to discover it because I really enjoy this. It's really fun. It's set in the north of England, which you don't really have in romances. Um, the big ones always tend to be like America or like London, basically. Um, so I think it was really good. It was really fun. It is like friends to lovers in this one. And basically our main character, she um, has run out of men to date on this dating app in her local area. It comes up saying, the get, yeah, there's no one left for you. Um, which, yeah, because she keeps going on dates and just doesn't like guys and there's no more on the dating app for her. Um, but yeah, it's like she has a whole um, summer full of events and she needs like a plus one. Um, but yeah, she ends up meeting Milzy um, and yeah, he also has a bunch of events he has to go to. He needs a plus one. So they end up doing the plus one pact. And yeah, this, you know, it's romance. I think you can work out what happens, but it's really good. I really enjoy the characters and yeah, but I'm not gonna read it. This one I have here is Victoria by Daisy Goodwin. Uh, this is based off of the series Victoria. If you've not watched it, guys, watch it is so good but this is based off the first couple i can't remember like i've read this like a good five or so years ago so it has been a while it's been sat on my shelf i'm unhauling it because i'm not going to read it and um, i did enjoy it i like enjoy the tv series but realistically i'm not going to read it um but it's about victoria it's about the the first kind of section of her when she comes into to power and Albert is in this but I can't remember exactly how far it goes um, and I don't know if she's released another one to cover the later parts uh, I can't remember but yeah it's like the early years of her reign and she does have some kids and things in this one but I can't remember how far it goes but yeah if you like historical um, fiction I definitely recommend this one um, I really enjoyed it but again it's been on my shelf for five years I haven't reread it so it's time to unhaul and make space for the books that aren't actually fitting on my shelves. <laughs> then I have The Midnight Lab Library by Matt Haig. I enjoyed this when I read it. I think it was like a four star. I read it a couple of years ago. Again, I'm not going to reread it. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the message that was in it. But yeah, I'm not going to reread it. Um, if you don't know what this is about, main character Nora, um, whose life hasn't been going well, but on the stroke of midnight on her last day on earth, she gets transported to the midnight library and she's given a chance to undo her regrets and kind of live through, well, if this, if I didn't do this and did this instead, what would have happened? And she gets to live through those things. So she gets to see the other life she may have actually lived if she made different decisions. Um, but yeah, it was really interesting. But I'm not going to reread it. Then I have Eleanor Olympianth is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. Um, I really enjoyed this, guys. Um, again, I think it was around about four stars. So when I read it, 
Um, I've had this for a good four or five years again um, and haven't reread it. Um, I did enjoy it, but realistically, I'm not going to reread it. But I do think it's a really good book. Um, I think a lot of people have actually read this at this point. But yes, Eleanor has a very simple life. She has a very set routine of exactly what she does. Um, on the weekends, she's always alone, but she has a very set routine, like I said, that she follows. And that's how her life follows these set things that she always does um but yeah she's happy with her life and um, it's perfectly timetabled but maybe something is actually missing from that life um and yeah it's i just i, I did enjoy it i really did enjoy it um and the themes in this one but i'm not gonna reread it and if i do reread any want to reread any of these you know there's the library then i'm gonna be unhauling the lovely bones by alice sievold i read this this year finally i had it myself a few years um and yes i give it like a three stars i think um, I read it because, you know, it's on the Rory Gilmore list. I wanted to read 10 books from that list this year, which <clears throat> I'm probably not going to achieve, spoiler alert. Um, but yes, um, I thought it was fine. It was an enjoyable read. I'm not going to reread it. Um, but yeah, I think it's like a... Is it YA? I can't remember if this is YA or not. Um, but yes, um, basically Susie Salmon is speaking from heaven. She's like kind of looking down like seen her family her friends lives after she's passed away um, and it's to see because she was tragically killed and it's kind of she's looking over to see how their lives unfolded after her tragic death um so yeah just not gonna reread it then i have the notebook by nicholas sparks um so i reread this this year um i'd read it i've read it quite a few times but from like way back when, um, I used to love this. This was like a five star. Whereas this year, I want to say it was three or so stars I gave it. I think I saw a lot more faults. My reading habits have changed. I'm older. You know, things have changed. Um, so I don't envision myself ever rereading it. I really love the film as well. Um, I actually like the film more than the book now, guys. Um, but yes, also this cover isn't exactly nice you know but yeah i'm never going to reread it i've reread it a couple of times now so i think you know there's lots of books out there that i need to read that i want to read so no time to read that one then i have crazy rich asians by kevin kwan um i have read i've read it obviously read it like last year and um, i've seen the film as well um i got this from a friend who was unhauling it herself i did really enjoy it i thought it was funny i liked the dynamic between different characters i've still got to read the second one which i have in kindle um but i did really enjoy it um but again i'm just i'm not going to reread it i feel like i'm saying that with every book but yes i enjoyed it um but yeah, it's definitely, it's a light-hearted rom-com type book, um, which I don't tend to reread them unless they're like five stars, you know. But I'd enjoy it. I do recommend it. Um, gee, Rachel is going out with Nick and he is spending summer back in Singapore. Um, and he's got a wedding to attend and he invites her along. Um, but it turns out that Nick is like super, super rich and she just was not prepared for that family. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's funny. I enjoyed it. Um, I think the film's good as well. And yeah, that's kind of it. Then I have The Other Bowling Girl by Philip G Gregory, um, historical fiction, um, and it is about, um, it's about Anne Boleyn's sister Mary, mainly that this book focuses on. Um, I do enjoy, you know, as you can tell, I do enjoy good historical fiction. I haven't been reading historical fiction that much. I've had this on my shelf for years. I read it once or twice, I can't remember. I've seen the film, enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm not going to reread it. I think it is a really good book. Um, but definitely going to reread it because I mean like look how small that writing is and it's a it's a chunker um but yes I do think I need to get back into historical fiction um because I feel like my reading habits have changed a lot and I did used to read a lot more historical fiction but I kind of want to get back into it more so if you have recommendations let me know um but yeah also it's the film cover which ah film covers you know we we don't love them we do not love film covers and then the last one that I'm unhauling is one that I read last year, so I really should have unhauled this before. It is The Refugees, which is a collection of short stories. Um, I I think I gave this like two stars or 2.5, I can't remember. I just didn't really get on with it that well. Um, I, so basically the premise of these short stories is that like they're all... Um, have immigrated from Vietnam to the United States and it's supposed to be like these different stories um, but I found that it wasn't, I thought it was going to be more about their actual, I don't know, their lives 
in terms of how they've been impacted with this move, changing countries, the different reasons why they came, but some of them were just normal stories, if you know what I mean. Like it could have happened to anyone. It, the fact that they had immigrated from Vietnam to the United States didn't have any impact in what that story was, if that makes sense. But I was expecting it to be all kind of based on like, I don't know, like how their life is now in the United States, what's happening to them or like how that journey was. Like that's kind of the way that it was kind of sold that it was about um, these people who immigrated. Um, but like I said, there's quite a few of the stories in it that are just nothing to do with that. Like it doesn't matter. It, it could have, it doesn't matter that they were, they had immigrated. Um, it's a matter of, it could have happened to them in Vietnam before, you know, so it could happen to anyone, basic some of the stories and yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, I thought it was fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take that off to the charity shop. And that's it. That's all the books I'm unhauling. Um, I definitely need to keep on hauling books, guys. I need to keep on hauling them. Um, but yes, let me know if any of those recommendations for historical fiction, because I definitely need to get into those. Um, and yeah, just comment, like, subscribe, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye. So the first one I have here is the Plus One Pack by Portuguese.